Hey, trouble. What do you want? <laughs> I'm kidding. Come here. You still are trouble, though. Weren't you doing, like, schoolwork or something? Yeah, you had that paper to finish writing. <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about it. Uh, it's because you haven't finished it yet, have you? All right, all right, all right, all right. I will bring it up. You didn't come here for me to fucking nag you. <laughs> no, I know, but I will be dismissing you at some point here so you can go finish that. Don't give me that attitude. Because I can just dismiss you now and you can go back to finishing it, can't you? That's what I thought. Come here. No, I'm not doing anything at all, to be honest. I mean, I'm just doing this, but that doesn't take me too long. Mm-mm. Apples and oranges, baby. Apples and oranges. You can't compare the two. Yeah. <laughs> well, I also, I'm going to finish what I'm supposed to do by the end of today. Yeah. Mm hmm. Besides, oh no, I won't. I won't bring it up. I won't bring it up. <laughs> you get like a ten minute reprieve. You argue it becomes five. Okay. Mm. I want to finish this up so quickly so you can watch Witcher. Mm hmm. I've been dying to watch the season with you. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so good. I, no, I haven't watched any of it. I've just been watching trailers. <laughs> I promise. I would never, ever, ever watch a show we're watching together without you. Nah, that's insane. <laughs> it's like a rule of all couples, I feel like. Yeah, it's like one of the cornerstone rules. You never watch like a couple show without your partner. Oh my god, you'd be furious if I did that. If I like watch 90 Day Fiance without you or <laughs> No, I know, I know, I know. That's why I don't do it. Even if I won't want to. Of course, baby. I think it's the best stuff we do is the stuff we do together. It's my favorite stuff. Oh my god, truly. That's why I chose you. There's no one else I want to do everything in life with. I chose you to be that partner. That person who will follow me through life. And I'll follow them. And together we'll tackle it. Mm-hmm. Adventure after adventure. Obstacle after obstacle. <laughs> mm hmm You're mine. As I am yours. <laughs> You're so cute. You know that, right? Pretty lucky. Mm. I thought we were trying to remind ourselves of stuff we were trying to forget. I know, I know, it's coming up so soon. Mm. We'll go Christmas shopping tomorrow. I know. This happens every year. Yeah, we wait till the end. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that one isn't on you, it's on me. I've been lazy, I haven't wanted to drive. Hey, it's not my fault. Have you seen how busy it's been out? It's traffic central, there's people everywhere. <sighs> What's so wrong with all that shopping? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, when I get here in time. We'll go out again. Yeah, to see if we can get the rest of it. We'll go tomorrow. Well, because we both have things we have to finish today. <laughs> yes, we both do. No, you got this, baby. No, I know, I know. I was just 
the same way when I was, yes, I was. <laughs> That's like I might know, because you're in the same things I did. I was lazy. I love procrastinating. It was my favorite thing in the world. Papers due on Friday. You write it Friday morning. But I feel like it would save you a lot of pain and heartbreak just to do it early and get it done. <laughs> because sometimes I did do it early. And when I did, it felt way better than rushing the morning before. Because you got time. <laughs> yeah, it's a commodity you just don't understand yet. You will eventually. Mm-hmm. You'll see. Sometimes it's nice to have time. To have a little bit of a cushion. Yeah. That's why I tend to finish things a day early now. Even though I'm still lazy and a procrastinator. I still finish things early. Because that cushion feels really good. Especially when there's more relying on it than just an A or a B. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can say that because I've been there and I've done it. Mm-hmm. And I love you. And I just want it to be easy for you. Because what's the sense in both of us struggling? <laughs> Let my struggle be at least meaningful. Yeah. Let my stupidity not be for nothing. <laughs> yeah, but you're stubborn just like me too, so I don't know how much it's going to get in your head. Yeah. Mm, opposites attract, but similarities bond. <laughs> you might want someone who's the exact opposite as you, but imagine if I was a morning person. It'd be nightmares for you. For neither of us are morning people. It works pretty good. Mm-hmm. Opposites in some places. But you want someone who's a similarity and more. I think we're pretty similar. Mm-hmm. I believe so. <laughs> more than I believe. I think I know. Yeah. That old tale about, like, love. That's... You know, people find each other because it's one soul that's been split in two. So the other best is looking, looking for the other. That's why we're so similar. Yeah, I mean, as much as anything else. Why couldn't it be true? No, I know you're getting comfy. I'm getting comfy, too. This is a problem when we cuddle during the day. We never want to get back to what we were doing before. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'd love that one, you. Just say screw it to the rest of the day and just spend time with you. Sounds like magic. I would love it. Are you getting me? be so nice well tomorrow day full of shopping <laughs> no I know it's not your favorite if you're shopping for something else or shopping differently oh my god you'd have so much fun but no this is not the fun kind of shopping unfortunately yeah I don't think that would ever work I mean it's a brilliant idea but I don't think it'll ever work no, because like a, I mean, maybe a Christmas registry would be a would be a great idea, but I don't think I don't know. Cause it's not a wedding. <laughs> you can't you can't make a registry for Christmas. I mean, I guess you did send me your Amazon wish list. I guess people could make gift registries. Maybe they should. I don't know. Well, part of me feels like you gotta just find it yourself. That's part of it. 
I mean, I did get you some stuff off your wish list, but I got you some stuff that wasn't on there at all. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm more excited for you to open those presents with the ones that I know that you wanted. Yeah. I don't know. I think gift giving is like an exercise in, in like how well do you know or understand a person? To, what, to like know what their wants are. I like getting a gift that they themselves didn't even think they wanted. No, not in that like cheap Darren Brown way, but like in a real way. I mean, if I could do it Darren Brown's way, I'd totally do it. Are you kidding me? I would be the best gift giver in the world. <laughs> I know. Look at you. Look at you being the one who's like, I gotta go back to work. I am so proud of you. I am really proud of you. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> You're still a way bit stubborn, but no, I am proud of you. I love you too, baby. All right, go along now. Uh, yeah, I should be done in like maybe an hour and a half, so in an hour and a half you can have a break. How does that sound? You're welcome, baby. Of course. I love you too.